Steve Kerr stood by his recent comments on the Ringer podcast, The Real Ones, with Raja Bell and Logan Murdoch, but in a particular way. He made it clear that he said that he felt coaching last year's Warriors team was more enjoyable than coaching the team that went to the 2019 finals. He did not like this framing of this tweet, though. He said, Bay Area media member take the quote out of context, tried to make it seem like Kerr was taking a shot at Kevin Durant. KD, of course, saw the tweet and replied, quote, this is hilarious. Here's Kerr ahead of yesterday's game explaining why he said what he said, but did not mean it the way it was portrayed in the tweet. Take a listen. To take that comment and put it into a tweet and send it out into the universe was so irresponsible and damaging. And I'm angry. Um, and I know what's going to happen. I know this is going to be taken out in, onto the morning shows and, and people are going to be talking about it. And they're going to use what, what they think is a quote that is actually something that's completely made up. Um, I'm not happy. Um, I think it's, uh, it's wrong. Well, look, it's not going to be taken out of context in that way because he made that statement. And now everybody is clear of sort of the way he was talking was about sort of the larger picture of the strain of five years next to sort of the lighter mood when you have younger guys who don't have anything to lose or win, frankly. So, Perk, how do you think those KD area warriors will be remembered given the way Steve Kerr actually talked about them, not just what was sort of framed in a different way in a tweet? Well, well, first of all, Kevin Durant personally should be remembered as a two-time NBA champion and a two-time finals MVP and part of a dynasty and helped the Golden State Warriors bring home two championships. That's the first thing. The Warriors should be looked at as one of the best dynasties in, 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 in the NBA, in the NBA history. But here's the problem that I have with Steve Kerr, okay? It's not like I went back and listened to that podcast and Logan Murdoch didn't ask him this. He volunteered this information. Here's my thing. Why are you still talking about this anyway? From the whole, from not from just Steve Kerr, from the whole Golden State Warriors organization. Move on. Though that was two years ago. Y'all had a great run. See what's going on now in the present. What's in the future? We're living in the past. Let Kevin Durant be. Because in my opinion, it did look like a shot towards Kevin Durant. And Steve Kerr didn't have to volunteer that information. So whether or not he feel like everyone else is taking it out of context, if it was me and I was Kevin Durant, I would feel the exact same way. Because when I read it and then I listened to the part and I said, oh, he volunteered this information, it sounded like a slug to me. So instead of Steve Kerr coming on here and giving that explanation, he should have came on there and just held himself accountable and said, I shouldn't have said that, period. I, I tell you what, I, I, I'll say this, though. I mean, listening to Steve Kerr talk, you know, when he sits up there and he, like I said, volunteers this, this is a coach that is very comfortable with and secure with his coaching job. He knows that he's good. He's good. Because most coaches, first of all, they're not going to come out and say that uh, about, you know, I enjoyed losing in, in my, <laughs> my season last year than winning a championship right. back to back when you have like a Kevin Durant. You see what I'm saying? So because I, I, most coaches find that stressful because I tell you what, with the team that you had, and then you're gifted, uh, or you, you're gifted a Kevin Durant who does what he did and accomplished what he accomplished with that team. I mean, happy birthday, because you got to think about this. Look at now a situation, <laughs> because, and I say this part because they won prior to Kevin got coming there. Look at a situation now like Steve Nash, who is gifted, but he has more pressure. Uh, you know, in his back pocket with the squad that he has. So, uh, you know, Kevin, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Steve Kerr didn't have that pressure because he had already won a championship, and now you, you have that team plus Kevin Durant. Oh, you know life is good. You know life is good. So he can speak that way, and I just think, you know, like he said, he volunteered it. Let it be. Look, Steve I... Kerr know he was sleeping well at night, Rachel, 
<laughs> knowing that he had Kevin Durant on his team. Don't come fool me with all that. Well, look, that era of the Warriors will be, I think, discussed forever. It was such an unusual team. It was such an unusual conditions and circumstances. And, and I do like the fact that Couldn't Kevin, know. I was in the building when Kevin came back to San Francisco to the Bay Area for the first time earlier this season. Since he left as a free agent, he got an extremely warm reception from the Warriors as a franchise, from the few people who were allowed to be in the building that night. They played a little video for him and said they were going to play another longer one. You contrast that to to what happened after he left Oklahoma City Perk, you know, mm -hmm. firsthand and just sort of the emotions there. So I think the relationship between all those guys, it's not perfect, clearly, but it's not quite as fractured as sometimes people want to make it out to be. And you guys make also very good points about the security of a coach who is able to say the things that Steve Kerr said. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.